Hi guys, uh, Rob Pankhurst here. One of the things that a lot of clients tell me is that they do not have enough time to eat breakfast before heading out the door. What I'm going to do is show you a, a few steps to make, make a healthy smoothie that you can eat, drink on the way to work. We're going to break it down into several different steps. Start with the basic step first, build that into a habit, give yourself five or seven days before you then add in additional steps. Some of these steps might require you to go out and buy certain supplements or certain other pieces of equipment or uh, prep some of the food in advance. Okay, so first off, it's your basic protein shake. Water, protein shaker bottle, can't get protein in, one scoop of protein, lid on, and keep the lid off and you shake this up in your car. Done. Okay guys, so step two. We're gonna upgrade this a little bit. Go out, get yourself a Nutribullet or some sort of blender that you're happy to budget for, that you can use. I love the Nutribullet as it's so easy. So, protein shake that we made earlier, into the Nutribullet, add the advice. What I want you to do now is add some form of green veg. At the moment, I'm gonna add in a handful cucumber, spinach, kale, whatever you like, get it in there, the Nutribullet will get it all blended up. Okay guys, so we've done step one, protein. Step two, veg. What we're gonna add now to this is some uh, good fats. I'm gonna use it for chia seeds, just a spoonful and grated almonds. You can add in avocados, you can add in any other good fat that you want. This just blends up really nice. Again, lid back on. Blend up. Done. So in your shake, you've now got proteins, vegetables, and fats. Cracking way to start the day. Stage three, done. Okay guys, so now you should have the hang of uh, stage one, two, and three. So stage one, protein powder. Stage two, some form of green vegetables. Stage three, we're adding in some form of fat. Now, stage four, what I like to do is add in some sort of fruit. Um, I tend to go with either berries. Um, at the moment, I'm a big fan of adding in pineapple chunks for the enzymes and because they up, you uptake protein a little bit better. Uh, but I can talk more about that. Again, lead on. Following on from step four, another thing that I like to add into mine is sliced beetroot. I prep this the night before or a couple of days before and keep it in the fridge. There's so many nutrient benefits of beetroot, especially for guys my age. Um, add that in, it does make it taste a little bit earthy, so it might take a little bit of uh, getting used to, but by now you should be in like the fourth or the fifth week of trying these uh, smoothies out. A lot of it's going to be trial and error, guys. You've got to figure out what you like drinking in the morning and what works for you. Okay, lid on, blender. Protein. We've got fats, we've got vegetables, we've got a little bit of fruit, uh, it's got the carbohydrates and that sugar and that nice taste in the morning, and we've got some additional uh, nutrients and minerals coming in from the beetroot. Okay guys, so we've got all of the, uh, the main ingredients in there. Now, what we're gonna do is look at how we can supercharge this to make it an even better smoothie for you. So this is kind of the, the next stage on. It will take a little bit of prepping to find a few supplements that you, you like, where to get them from, and to make sure that you've got them in. Do the first few steps first. The supplements are a bonus. There are supplementation to the other things that you take on board. One of the things that I take every single day and add to my own smoothie is well mixed greens. So I'll take a shot of that and I get a shed load of pre dried uh, superfoods. What I also like to add to all my smoothies and post workout shakes is glutamine. Very, very good for your gut health, which basically means you're gonna be absorbing more vitamins and the nutrients that you take on board. Another addition, especially when you're consuming proteins, is to make sure you're getting enough fiber. If you're not eating enough green vegetables during the day, 
this is a fantastic way of getting more fiber straight first thing in the morning. Fiber is going to keep you fuller, which means you're not gonna have those mid-morning cravings. So again, I got a nice big heat teaspoon. Start small, guys, because of the uh, effects of fiber. You get the drift. Again, load it up, same process. Learn to put the lid on, blend up. Done. Okay guys, so quick summary of what we've done today. We've learned how to make a basic smoothie. We've then taken it over to a shaker and we've added some uh, green vegetables into that. From there we've added a little bit of fruit, we've added some fats, and then we've supercharged that as well. And it's a very, very simple way that takes no time at all. Now, what we're after is for you to start the process one at a time. Don't try and do all of this together. Gradually get one in and add to that each week. Before you know it, you'll be doing this smoothie. It'll take you a minute, two minutes to do it, and then you'll be out the door. It won't be delaying you. Now, what we're after is improvement, not perfection. So some of you could be going, but I thought eating steak and nuts was the best breakfast that you'd recommend. Yeah, personally, I think that's a fantastic breakfast. But if you're not, if you haven't got time at the moment to make any breakfast and you're not eating anything, don't even think about making a steak in the morning. Smoothie is the quickest way of getting something in you, building uh, vitamins and nutrients and protein first thing in the morning. We can worry about the other stuff, about how to optimize your nutrition and how to optimize your breakfast at some other point. Start with the basics, build a habit, build a routine. Any questions?